Oh, humans, what have we done? Despite having a population of no people, one of the most isolated and inaccessible islands on the planet is covered in our garbage. Henderson Island is a remote atoll located on the western edge of a circular system of ocean currents known as the South Pacific Gyre. Named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1998, the island is uninhabited. However, researchers say it has the highest density of plastic waste in the world. Some 38 million pieces of garbage have washed up on Henderson Island's once pristine sands. Analysis of the trash shows it was carried there from Asia, South America, Europe, the US, and Russia. Researchers estimate that 3,500 pieces of trash wash up on the island daily and typically include household items made of plastic. Nearly 30 years ago, UNESCO said Henderson Island's near pristine ecosystem was of immense value for science. But wildlife, including turtles and crabs, have been devastated by the garbage that has been dumped on the island's shores. Researchers say that trying to clean the island's beaches would be pointless because of the lack of visitors and sheer volume of trash that washes up there daily. They advise people to use alternatives to plastic, such as bamboo toothbrushes and canvas carrier bags, and to bring your own mug to Starbucks. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Plastic has only been around for a little over 100 years, but our oceans are full of it. So this is where the waste in the ocean ends up. Researchers say the Arctic Ocean has become the last stop for plastic waste dumped into the seas, and trash is now piling up in the once pristine waters. According to a study, warm surface currents bring plastic trash from densely populated coastlines out to the Arctic Ocean, where the waste becomes trapped. It's estimated that the trash stored in the Arctic Ocean currently accounts for about 3% of the 110 million tons of plastic waste in the oceans. There are approximately 300 billion tiny pieces of plastic waste in the surface water, and it's highly likely there's even more trash on the sea floor. The researchers say their findings reveal only the beginning of plastic waste migration to the Arctic Ocean, and warn the consequences will be felt at a greater scale in the Arctic ecosystem. There might be a solution to the giant garbage patch in the Pacific Ocean. A Dutch group aiming to rid the oceans of plastic junk has announced it will begin efforts to clean up the Great Pacific Garbage Patch by 2018, two years earlier than originally intended. The organization Ocean Cleanup will use trash collectors in the form of curved booms and screens, which are suspended by anchors floating in deep water. The system will act like an artificial coastline, catching plastic debris as it drifts on the surface or just below the water. Once full, a vessel empties the system and transports the collected plastic to land for processing and recycling. The group plans to deploy up to 50 systems and expects to collect 50% of the trash in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in just five years. Ocean Cleanup's first pilot parts are now in production and will begin testing off the west coast of the U.S. by year's end. Study could explain why seabirds eat ocean plastic. The corruption of a natural process that directs seabirds toward food is tricking the animals into eating plastic floating in the ocean. When krill eat algae, the plants emit a sulfurous compound called dimethyl sulfide, which has a strong smell. The smell gives a chemical signal to seabirds about where they can find their prey. Plastic floating in the ocean accumulates organic matter, including dimethyl sulfide. According to researchers, the plastic then emits an odor that entices seabirds to eat it. Five trillion pieces of plastic are reportedly littering the world's oceans, weighing a total of 250,000 tons. More than 200 species of marine life have been found to eat plastic, including birds, fish, turtles, and mammals. According to the projections of another recent study, 99% of all seabird species will have eaten plastic by 2050. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. The Pacific Ocean is full of plastic waste. Initial results from the first aerial survey of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch suggest that ocean pollution is worse than we thought. The Ocean Cleanup Foundation is conducting a series of aerial surveys over an area of plastic accumulation in the Pacific Ocean between Hawaii and California. 
Flying at low altitude and low speed, the survey uses LIDAR technology to analyze the density and frequency of plastic ocean debris. Recording the presence of debris larger than half a meter by one and a half meters, the crew found more than a thousand pieces of plastic during a two and a half hour test flight. The survey also aims to document discarded fishing nets known as ghost nets, which are difficult to detect and can ensnare marine life. Researchers from the Great Ocean Cleanup said understanding the scope of the problem would help future efforts to remove trash from the Pacific. Instead of eating plankton, young fish are now eating plastic. About 8 million tons of plastic are leaked into the ocean annually, and its impact on the fragile underwater ecosystem has scientists worried. A new study has found that young fish are eating microplastic like junk food, and it's killing them. Microplastic particles result from the fragmentation of large plastic waste, or from tiny manufactured plastic like microbeads in cosmetic products. Measuring less than 5 millimeters, the particles flow through waterways and into the ocean, accumulating in shallow coastal areas. Larval perch that normally feed on plankton have been found to be actively choosing the microplastic as food. This has resulted in their stunted growth and sudden disregard for the smell of predators. The ability to respond to the smell of predators and flee is typically innate in young fish. When placed in tanks with their natural predator, perch that ate plastic were preyed upon four times faster than those that did not. All were dead within 48 hours. Scientists warn that the harmful effects of plastic is not limited to fish and may be felt throughout the food chain. The study is an important step in understanding the silent threat that plastic wastes poses on marine creatures. A U.S. ban on microbeads in body care products will take effect from July 2017, with pressure building for other countries to follow suit. New report says plastic will outweigh fish in the oceans by 2050. By 2050, plastic rubbish in the oceans will outweigh fish, according to a new report by the Ellen MacArthur Foundation released at the World Economic Forum in Davos this week. The United States, Europe, and Asia together account for 85% of plastics production, roughly split between the US and Europe on one side and Asia on the other. Some 95% of plastic packaging produced each year is lost to the economy after a single use. Out of all the plastic produced every year, only 5% is recycled effectively. Around 40% is buried in landfills, and about 32% reaches the oceans. This corresponds to dumping the contents of one garbage truck into the ocean every minute. The production of plastic, which now stands at around 311 million tons a year, is expected to quadruple by 2050. This will bring the ratio of plastic to fish in the ocean, calculated according to weight, from 1 to 5 to more than 1 to 1. The report urges people to take action and to rethink the way we use and recycle plastic. It also suggests that manufacturers help reduce plastic waste by producing not only plastic that is reusable but also compostable plastics, a new generation of plastics that are biodegradable through composting.